Hello, I'm going to talk to you about what protection the Spanish um, state provides to people who have money in the bank. Um, money or financial products which uh, you might have deposited with the bank. Now in Spain we have a maximum cover in case of loss, for example if the bank goes bust or the bank gets uh, taken over by, by the Bank of Spain um, or it's bailed out of 100,000 euros. This is the maximum amount they will pay per person and per account. Okay, So if, for example, you have a joint account, two people with 200,000 euros, that's exactly what they're going to cover. They won't cover more than 200,000 euros. What the government said a while ago and the advice they gave a couple of years ago when some banks were being bailed out because there were at terrible losses with the real estate fiasco, is that you could open a bank account with each bank, um, each bank. So if you were lucky enough to have, say, for example, 600,000 euros in cash, then they advised you to open six different accounts with so many banks. Um, that meant that you would be covered with 100,000 euros per Per, per bank. Um, so that, that is legal. That is that's something, in fact, that they were um, advising you to do. So um, it's not cheek or, or anything like this. It's perfectly legal to do. Um, the, important, the other thing I'd like to say is that Spanish banks are covered by this, but not foreign banks operating in Spain through branches or through representation offices. For example, some banks from the north of Spain operate in Spain within the framework of the freedom of um, service, providing bank, bank services. They are able to come to Spain, they notify the Bank of Spain, and they start taking clients' money. This is fully legal within the European Union, and there's no reason to distrust these banks. However, you've got to understand that the Spanish um, government will not or cover these deposits. Um, you'll have to find out what is the maximum cover in the, 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 uh, the country where these, these banks are coming from. As an example, Barclays is a UK bank which in Spain is registered with the Bank of Spain as a Spanish bank. This bank would come under UK law. But then, for example, you've got ING. ING is a Dutch bank who, which is not registered with the Bank of Spain. This means that you need to check what is the maximum cover in Holland, which is where this bank is originally from. Um, so these are things which uh, you, you'd like to take into consideration. We don't think that there's going to be any issue with banks, but um, then again, there's no harm in knowing what the position of the law is. Thank you very much.